southern Utah. In 27 and one half years of service in the U.S. Air Force, including a quarter century flying as a crew member on C-130 cargo aircraft, I've been to almost every state in the Union, including Alaska and Hawaii, and there's just nothing like southern Utah. And for those of us in the overland community, those who aspire to take long journeys across amazing terrain, where the destination takes back seat to the adventure, nothing in the lower 48 comes close to that which you can experience in this amazing mix of mountains, forests, canyons, lakes, rivers, and fantastic geography. The crystal clear skies, views that are forever, and the nighttime wonders above will take your breath away. It is an area worth preserving, and two significant pieces have been in recent years. The first was Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. The second, only designated in 2017, was Bears Ears National Monument. Together, these two pieces of protected property offer three and a quarter million acres of overlanding opportunity. And with thousands of miles, mostly dirt road, they adjoin such other national treasures as Lake Powell, Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, the Mays District of Canyonlands National Park, and Capitol Reef National Park. This is the place in the lower 48 that every overlander should dream about. And I wanted to share a little bit of my recent trips into this incredible region with you, and then make a few small requests to you at the end. It? But for now, this is Bears Ears, and they want staircase is collected. Up here at the back. or even transfer some of the property to the state of Utah, who would then be free to sell it. So here are my requests of you. First, contact your congressman and let him know how you feel about that. Second, encourage others in our overlanding community to do the same. Share this video with them if you wish. Three, visit this area and please tread lightly and leave no trace. Let's preserve this precious resource for our children's children.